Hi everyone. Um, I hope you enjoyed the two last two classes that I've put up. Um, so this class is going to be a level one mat work. So if you're new to Pilates, make sure you've done the basic uh, class over and over again. But if you're a seasoned practitioner in Pilates, I hope you enjoy this class. So let's get sit upright like so okay so bring pleasant hands underneath your thighs now why don't you try to sit as tall as possible your tallest possible uh, position for the day okay I don't want you to slouch this way now release that shoulders just kind of look ahead um, in front of you now I need you to take we talked about in the previous video so expand the ribs sideways now as you exhale, draw that lower abdominal, so your pelvic floor muscle up like an elevator, just suck it up. And then from there, I want you to just rock the pelvis and then go into what we call the C curve here. You notice that I'm not slouching, I'm creating a length in my spine as I flex my back. And then I want you to inhale, come up right tall again. And then exhale, rock the pelvis back, and then go ahead and into a C curve. So my core is engaged. Okay. And an inhale, lengthening up tall. Two more. Exhale. C curve. Inhale. Tall. Last one. Exhale. In breath and tall into the roll back and exhale into a C curve. Now why don't you just continue rolling back until your arms are straight. Keep the gaze forward. Inhale, keep that scoop in the abdominal. Exhale, come over into a C curve position again and lengthen it up tall. Again, exhale, C curve, roll back. In breath, exhale, seeker, and an inhale, tall, two more times, and seeker, roll back, in breath, roll forward, and up tall, one more, seeker, and then to roll back, in breath, and an exhale, inhale to come up. And into the C curve again, into your roll back. Now this time guys, I want you to continue your journey down towards the floor, okay? Rest your head down. I'm just gonna slide forward, right? And bring your feet closer towards your bottom. Now your feet are hip width apart, make sure they're parallel, they're not flopping out, they're not going to like a little penguin, right, into an external. Just think as parallel as you can, like a chopstick. So, keeping that shoulder broad, gently press the arms down to the floor. Right, I want you to inhale again. Breathe that ribs out to the side. So find that diaphragmatic lateral breathing. Now as you exhale, draw and scoop this abdominal up. Right? I don't want the belly to push out this way. I want the belly to draw in. And in breath. Exhale. In breath. Keep the pelvis stable. Exhale. Scoop the abdominal. Last one. In breath. Exhale. Let's go into pelvic tilt here. And in breath. Exhale, and then curl, or oh sorry, tilt the pelvis. Your lower back is pressed down onto the floor. Your belly is sort of emptied. And then inhale, release back. And exhale, abdominal scooping, tilting back, lower back is down, bottom comes up a little bit. Inhale, release. And exhale, inhale, Release. Take it as a little massage for your sacrum 
and your lower back. And an inhale, one more time. And exhale, how deep can you scoop that lower abs in towards the lower back? And an in breath. And let's go to the pelvic curl. Again, breath out, belly in, till the pelvis, and then curl it up. The hamstrings comes up, the bottom finishes to the bridge position. Watch that your rib cage doesn't pop up. Connect the ribs with the hips. Keeping those arms long, keep the gaze up to the ceiling. Your knees are still pointing forward in a parallel position. Then breathe out, roll the spine down. Inhale, release. Again, breath out. Roll it up to that bridge. Inhale, exhale. Melt the spine down and release. And breath out, belly in, rock the pelvis, and then curl it up, hamstrings up, bottoms engage, inner thighs are also engaged, guys. Inhale, exhale, roll it down. One more time, in breath, exhale, rock it back, and come up onto your bridge, inhale, and exhale, roll it down and back to that neutral position. Now, grab your hands, interlace your fingers, place it at the back of your head. Okay, the elbow can come up a little bit off the ground. Let's go into your chest lift here. Breathe out, lengthen the ribs down to your belly and allow the upper back to flex forward. Now, allow your head to rest or cradle into your hands a little bit. Your elbows are reaching away out of the shoulder. And an inhale to return. And then breath out again. Flex forward. And inhale. And again. And an in breath. Three more. Looking forward towards that leg. And an in breath. And an in breath. Last one. We hold on the top. And stay. Release your right hand forward here. We're going to add some rotation. From there, you're going to rotate towards the left. As you breathe out. In breath. And again, exhale. In breath. Allow the rotation to come from your waistline. Two more. Center. Last one. Center. Take the hand back. Release the other hand forward. Over to the right. Center. Center. Two more. Last one, back to center, interlace the hands back, hold, and come back down. Release the arms down by the side, guys. Now, take your right leg up, pull that center, coming up into a tabletop. Extend the leg up to the ceiling, and then flex the foot, and then we point the foot, and then flex the foot. And then point the foot. If you're tight in your hamstring, you can also bend the knee a little bit, stretch as much as you can, grab the hands behind, and then do it the same way. Okay? This will support your legs a little bit more. But if you're fine, you have nice flexible legs, stretch it as much as you can and continue. We flex and point. Two more flex and point. Last one flex and point. Hold, sorry, into a flex will hold. Single leg circle. We go across the body a little bit. As you inhale, take care of the pelvis. And then exhale. Keep the pelvis stable. In breath. And exhale. And then in breath. And then exhale. Two more straight legs as much as you can. And then exhale. Last it in breath. And then exhale. Hold. The other way. Out, down, across. Inhale. And an exhale, and an in breath, and an exhale, and an inhale. Two more sets. 
last set stay bend the knees take your foot down take the other leg pull that belly in take it up and extend again same thing you can grab the back of the leg if you're feeling really tight in the hamstrings and I would flex and punt but if you point and flex and point and we flex and point and flex point two more flex point last one flex and punt now flex that foot again stabilize the pelvis we go across the body as you inhale and an exhale and an inhale and an exhale in breath and an exhale last set inhale and an exhale hold the other way in breath and an exhale inhale and an exhale my opposite obliques is working hard here to control the legs one more set and an exhale stay bend the knee take that foot down right take your arms up towards the ceiling and over your head now take care that your ribs doesn't come off the floor allow that back to rest down even if your arms come up a little bit that's okay right you want to control and stabilize the abdominal wall rather than arching away like so so take your arms up if your shoulders are feeling tight all right now from here hold that center tightly right here pull that belly as you in breath and exhale pull it in take one pull in breath exhale drawing tight as much as you can so it doesn't bulge out and then bring the other leg up knees over your hips and that shin bone is parallel with the ground so hundreds prep breathe out lift the head and the chest up inhale arms up follow the head and the chest down watch that rib cage guys keep it in and then breathe out in breath three more breathe out in breath and and an in breath last one and an in breath the hundred is five exhale five inhale you're just pumping the arms inhale from the nose and exhale from the mouth so see how you go take an in breath breathe out lift the head and the chest up and i'm going to take my legs up if this is too much for you take your legs under the tabletop inhale we prepare exhale we pump and in exhale and in three more set Keep pulling that belly in. Two more sets. And last. And hold. Bend the knees to tabletop. Take your arms up to the ceiling. And then just turn the palms in. Open your arms out to your side. Well done, guys. Right. Now I want to just squeeze the inner thighs really nice and tight here. Let's go into supine twist here. So, sorry, supine spine twist. So we're gonna go towards my right, so towards you. I'm squeezing my inner thighs to get the body from the waistline. And then come back as I exhale. And then inhale. If you don't have enough space at home to stretch your arms out into a seat position, be my guest, take your arms down by the side like so. In breath. And an exhale. And an in breath. And an exhale. I'm going to take my arms out again. Inhale. Now you can squeeze that knees as much as you can. Exhale. Come back in. Inhale. Don't let the knees walk away from each other. Exhale. Squeeze them tight. To my side. Inhale. Exhale. And an in breath. Exhale. Let the opposite shoulders and arm work to counterbalance it. 
exhale. One last one, in breath. And an exhale, center. Grab the hand to the back of your legs. Now from here, I want you to lift the chest up. Now we're gonna do a little rocking to bring yourself into sitting position. So stretch your arms. Actually, no, soften the arms a little bit. Get those arms working. Now I want you to just rock, 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 right? Rock yourself up. Let's do three more and bring yourself into a sitting position. Two, and then one, and come back in here. Okay, rolling like a ball. Like, grab your hands in the front of the shin like so, right? Right, separate the hands, right? And then allow the elbows to be active here. My arms are working here. My triceps and my biceps are working. So, all right, take your feet off the floor. Balance yourself on your tailbone, right? Not your sitting bone, tailbone. Now, scoop that belly in into like that C curve position we did at the start of the class. So, pulling that center, looking down towards the pelvis. Elbows are nice and active. Neck is long. Maintain that curve. We roll yourself back to the shoulders. Come over, back, and balance. And we in-breath. And an exhale. And an in-breath. And exhale, and an in breath, and exhale, three more, lock all the joints, don't fling your legs away, two more, and last one, and come back to that balanced position, well done, take your feet down, move your pelvis back, separate them, Slightly wider than your hips, okay? Now, if you're feeling really tight today, there are two ways you can do. You can soften the knees a little bit to get the back straight. Grab a pillow underneath your bottom and sit on it, okay? That will ease that tension in your hip flexors as well. But if you're flexible, so do your best. Stretch your leg as much as you can. Flex that feet up. Engage the hamstrings. Lifting up that back and taking your arms forward here. We're going to go into a spine stretch forward, okay? So, inhale, lengthening up the spine. Now, exhale, let's articulate the spine. Rolling down. And a little stretch at the end as you inhale. And exhale, scooping the belly, lengthening up the spine, coming up, sitting up nice and tall. Again, breathe out, articulate the spine, watch you don't slouch, right? Keep the abs active, keep the spine, uh, your back extensors active, your back muscle active too. In breath, and exhale, lifting up the spine, back into starting position. Breath out. Inhale, exhale. Nice and tall. One last one. Exhale. In breath. And exhale. Lifting up tall. Well done. Bring your feet together. Okay, again, bend your knees if you need to. All right, take your arms out to the T position with the palms facing up. All right, guys, so watch out your shoulder doesn't creep up. Allow the shoulder to rest down. You don't have to push it down. Just Rest it down, right? Like you're resting the shoulders on a table, on a pillow, on a soft cotton candy. Right, keeping this arm active. Let's go into some twisting. So, towards you or towards, well, towards the camera, I'm going to do double breath out. Inhale. In breath. Keeping this leg. Nice and quiet, stable, twisting from the spine. Last set. Last one. Back to center. Place your hands back. Fingertips are pacing forward. You can separate your feet slightly. We're going to go into your back support here. So press your hands down. My chest is nice and open here, right? So my chest is nice and broad. I'm not squeezing my shoulder blade. I'm keeping them sort of wide, okay? 
and my shoulders are not creeping up and I'm not slouching. Okay, so legs are long. Nice and proud. Breathe out. Press your hands, press the heels as much as you can. Lift the pelvis and your gaze is just towards the ceiling, slightly forward. And then inhale, hinge down. Bottoms just touching. And then we're going to balance it up again. Lift that pelvis. Neck is long. In breath, lengthen the spine. And then exhale. Neck long. Inhale. Hinge. Two more. Exhale. Inhale. Hinge. Last one. Exhale. Inhale. Hinge down. Well done. Now, cross your leg. This way, we're going to transition ourselves. Place your hands forward. Bring your body forward. Transition ourselves into a quadruped position, an all four position. All right, shoulders are broad. Hands and shoulders aligned. Knees and hips aligned. Pick up the belly. All right. Now, from there, extend one leg out. Tap the toes under. Hold. We're going to go into a front support here. Breathe out. Second one out. And stay there. I want to hold that core nice and tight. I want to squeeze that hamstrings a little bit more. Hamstrings are just muscles. Okay? Squeeze the hamstrings a little bit more and extend the upper back forward. Let's stay here for five, four, three, two, one. Well done. One leg down, second leg down. Pull that core and belly into a flexion and then sit back onto your heels into rest position. Stay here. One deep inhalation, breathing through the back of the ribs. And exhale. And come on up. Okay, now face me onto your side. Let's do some forward kick. Right, so I want your forearm to be placed on the ground. Elbows and shoulders aligned, please. Stack up your feet. Lift that bottom waist up for me, guys. So I don't want to see this slouching position. Okay, this is kind of like a watching... Uh, sort of watching TV position. I want to lift up that waist. Again, keep that chest proud. All right, you can place your hands here for stability. But if you want to, you can join me. Place your hands behind your head. All right, your waist are working nice and strong here. Taking the top leg up. Flexing that foot. Double breath. We go forward. <laughs> Keep this tight. Two more. Last. Hold. Lower the back leg. Take the top arm forward. I want you to pull back. Reach forward. Hug that center in. And just stay here for a little stretch here, guys. Inhale and stretch forward and back. Exhale, pulling that center nice and tight. And then come back in. Tuck the knees in. Coming up. Take the arm up to the ceiling. And over for a little mermaid stretch. Lengthening up that spine. And exhale. And then come in. Over to the other side, please. So, onto your forearm. Okay, stack up the legs. Remember, lift the waist up. No slouching. Okay, right, I'm going to take my hand behind here. You can have your hands in front of you here if you like to. Right, have the leg up off the floor. Flex up foot. And now we're going to go forward. <laughs> Inhale. <laughs> Exhale. <laughs> Two more. Last one. Hold. Take the top leg down. And I reach away in a diagonal position here. I want you to inhale, reach forward and back. And exhale. Repeat. Inhale, reach forward and back. And exhale. And then coming in. Stack up the legs. Tuck the knees in. Bring yourself up, okay? 
lift the arm up, reach up to the sky into mermaid position, and off you go. Put a nice little lateral stretch here. Inhale, lengthening up the spine, and exhale, go a little deeper. Okay, on to front, guys. We're gonna do single leg kick. So, tripod hands positioned, like so. Onto the belly. Okay, here we go. Right, I want you to press that forearm down, okay? I want you to lift that lower abdomen. Let me just tuck my t-shirt in so you can see what's happening. One second. All right. Right, I want you to lift up the abdominal. Right, press the forearm down. Open proud chest here, guys. My legs are nice and active, okay? Now, from here, pull up the lower abs. Lift the legs up off the floor, just a little off the ground. Make sure you're supporting the back. Now, right leg kick two times, left leg. So we go. We inhale and exhale. And inhale. Two more sets. Last set. Extend the legs away and release. Go onto your belly. Stretch the arms away. All right, one last one. Let's go into some swimming here. So pull the arms back into the shoulder. Can you see my arms back into my back? Okay. Now again, my hamstrings, my legs are working here. My lower abs are working here. I want you to lift the legs off the floor. Take your arms off the floor. We prepare. Inhale, opposite arm and legs here. We tap it out. And an exhale. And an in breath. And an exhale. Two more sets. Last set. Lift everything up and then bring it down. Hands underneath the shoulder, push yourself away. And then rounding up the back into your rest position. Breathing to the back of your ribs as you inhale. Exhale, allow that pelvis to melt. One more time, inhale. Exhale. And then roll yourself up to sitting up tall. Well done for doing the class. I hope you join me for the next few series of classes. Have a good day.